let's first try the line equations. There are two types of line equations. One is y equals to mx plus b, which we call the sloped, sloped intercept one. And another is y minus y naught to m x minus x naught, which is called the point slope. Any kind of linear equations, relation between x and y, can be solved for y to put into slope-intercept form. And therefore, if you use this point-slope form to get the line equation, you can solve this for y to bring it to the slope-intercept form. Since this is not the first time you've seen how to find the equation of a line, let me directly jump to the example question where you have the following question. Find the equation of line passing 3 comma a and is parallel to Three x plus four y equals to twelve. Solution. Now, in this question, you can see that you're given a point. This three comma a is a point. It's a point. And the next important word here is parallel. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me when two lines are parallel? Yes. When the slope is the same. When their slopes are the same. So, this question means you need to find the equation of the line that passes through this point and the slope of the line has to be same as the slope of this line. However, if you leave it in this form, it's hard to figure out what the slope is. You have to solve for y to put it into slope-intercept form. And once you have it changed to slope-intercept form, this value m is what we call the slope. Okay. Let's do that. We're going to solve for y, leave y on one side, so 3x goes to the other side, divide by 4, and negative 3 divided by 4 is negative 3 over 4x, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay. So this means slope is equal to negative 3 over 4, and the y-intercept is 3 for this line. But that's not what we want. We really want the equation of this line passing through 3 comma a and having the same slope as this one. So now, in order to get the equation of the line, we'll use the point slope form. All right. How do you use the point slope form? First, what is this, this thing x naught and y naught? x naught comma y naught is the point that the line passes through. So that corresponds to which thing in the question? 3 and a, right? So 3 is x naught and a is y naught. Okay, we're going to use this formula for with x naught equals to 3 and y naught equal to a. So let's do that. Therefore, the uh, slope, the equation of the line y minus 
a equals to, I have to put the slope, n is the slope. What's that? Negative 3 over 4. So put negative 3 over 4, x minus what? 3. three. Okay. So that's the, that's the answer. Uh, in case the question asks you to find the line equation in the slope intercept form, then you have to further simplify this by solving for y. So let's do that. Negative 3 over 4x plus 9 over 4 plus 8. So that's the answer. Okay, do you have any questions? Yes. You never get like an um, answer with like a whole number. There's always going to be a variable in that case. Uh, the reason that this has a variable in there is because in the question, I'm not giving you the full full information about this line. Okay. It's you're, you're given that it passes through three comma something, but I don't know what that something is. Let's just call it a. I thought that's what we were finding. We're, we're not. We're we're trying to so find the equation of the line. Okay. So here, the equation of the line is, is the question, yeah. and therefore the answer should be in the form of an equation of the line, which is this form. So this has to be the answer. Okay? But part of the answer contains this A, because in the information given about this line, you have this A. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if I, it could be that this is just the number. It could be given a question where you, you have like 3 comma 7 or something, and that gives this will be 7. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just that in this problem, it's 8. Any other questions? Yes? Um, why have you changed the Gordian? From, um, oh, from here to there. OK. Uh, I, I was thinking about this hypothetical case where in the question, find the equation of the line passing through 3 comma a and is parallel to 3x plus 4y equals to 12 in slope intercept form. If that's the question, you would solve for y. Okay. If not, it's OK to put it in this form because it didn't really specify what form of line equation they want. Okay. Okay.